Hello students, today's agenda is to check your homework. Today you will be learning about number sets and you will be able to do 1.5 by applying some skills from today and also from the previous lesson. Today students will be able to decide how accurate units need to be and give examples of applications for different number sets. Okay, so I'm going to be explaining the different number sets and I'm going to be giving you um, examples of how uh, these number sets can be applied. These were actually given to me by um, students from previous classes and so I'll be giving those to you right now. So the first one, um, it's called natural numbers. And the natural numbers uh, start at 1, 2, 3, and they continue infinitely. Okay, this is a symbol for infinite. In a number line, you would start, um, you have 0, but that doesn't count, so for the number for the natural numbers, you start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc., etc. Okay, and it goes on and on and on. The symbol for this um, set is N. The natural numbers are also known, also known as counting numbers. And so the symbol for that would be C, okay? So when can we use number, the number set not of natural numbers or counting numbers? Well, we can say that when we need whole numbers um, or that we can start counting things and we always start counting, we never say zero tables, one table, two tables, right? It's when we count them, we start counting at one. So maybe tables, uh, computers, uh, plates. And these are just some examples, but <laughs> I mean, most definitely there can be more. Um, clocks. And so anything where we're just taking contability of or that we need to count, okay? The next set, it's called whole numbers. And Sorry about the noise. And whole numbers start at zero. Okay, so we start with zero. One, two, three, four, etc., etc. All the way to infinite uh, number. The symbol for whole numbers is a W and in the number line you will start at zero then go on from one two three four five six etc etc um, this doesn't have another name like natural numbers that has also counting numbers um, and some examples where whole numbers can be used is when we're counting and we're asking, how many children do you have? Some people might say zero, okay? So that's when we count or one, two, three, four, etc., etc. Uh, 
how many students are in a classroom? Well, at night, there are no students, right? There are zero students or as at certain times of the day, there are 12 students or 15 students or 30 students in the classroom, etc., etc. How many pets do you have? Could be another example where they might answer zero or any of these numbers. How many cars, how many houses? How many houses do you owe? Do you own? Okay, so these are, again, these are some examples, but most definitely there can be um, other ones. Okay, make sure um, if you need to pause the video so you can take note. The next number set is called integers. And I'm just gonna give you the symbol right now. The symbol is not an I because we're gonna need I for a different number set. It's a Z, okay? And integers starts at negative infinite, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera, all the way to positive infinite. And so in here, you can see we have the negatives, the positives, and zero. Okay, here's three different um, sections that we need to include, the zero, plus the negatives and the positives. And so in the number line, we will have zero in the middle, the positive starting at one in here, positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, et cetera, et cetera. And going in that direction, we need to be careful because from zero, it goes to negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Some people get confused and they start the list all over again. And this goes, this little arrow means that it goes on forever, okay? All the way to infinite. In the positives, all the way to the infinite of infinite negative, negative infinite, okay? Where do we use integers? We use integers when we're talking about money, for example. The positive is money you owe, I mean you have, and the negative is debt, okay? Um, we also have temperature. Um, positive is above, above zero, degrees above zero, I should say, degrees above zero. And the negative is degrees below zero. Okay, I'm going to pull this up. Another example is in the elevator. If we have positive, it means um, the levels one, two, three, four. Okay, um, levels one, two, three, four. And the negative refers to the, the basements. Sometimes there are up to two basements or I don't know, so the basements, okay? Or going up means positives. Going down also refers to using negatives for the elevator. Um, sea level. I don't know if you've been to some places where you see signs on the freeways especially where it says how many feet 
they're above the sea level. Um, so if it's positive, it's feet above sea level. And the negative is feet below sea level. And um, I live here in California in the United States. We live here, so we know that there are places in the mountains um, where we are traveling here are up in the mountains and it's above sea level but then we also have what is the death valley and that's one of the lowest points though, though that area is below sea level okay so that's what it refers to so these are some ways in which um, integers are used um, there are others such as going in our airplane positive is going up and then um, negatives is when you're descending okay but these are good examples of what where we use integers the next number set is rational numbers And rational numbers, the symbol is, um, it's not R, oh, it's Q, <laughs> sorry about that. It's Q, and again, it's, the reason for that is because we're going to be using R for a different number set, um, and you'll see. You're going to say, oh, that's why they use Q for, for rational and rational numbers, I'm going to write a description because more than, um, they don't go con consecutively like the other numbers. Um, so I'm going to write a description and I'm also going to give you some examples. And I might locate them in, in the number line. So rational numbers, it's any number that can be written as a fraction. And since I'm using a lot of space in here, you might want to write it down because I'm not going to be pushing the paper up. Um, so write it right now. And some examples, um, they might not look like a, a fraction, they also say any number that can be written as a ratio, okay, which is just a comparison between two numbers, so as a ratio or fraction, okay? And so 0 0.5 is an example, and this is the same as 1 half, okay, 0 0.5 or 1 half. 2, even though it's a counting number or part of the integers number set, because it can be written as a fraction by putting it over one, all is also called rational number. A negative two, okay? Any any negative numbers, because we can put it as a fraction, then it's also called a rational number. Um, point three 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 forever i'm just going to put a line in here to say three 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 with no stop that's also a fraction because we know that this is equals to one third okay so these can be written as as a fraction uh 0.5 can be written as a fraction so these are some examples of rational numbers okay and so where can you use rational numbers so let me before i give you the examples repeating decimals are are uh, are able we are able to write them as fraction uh Ending decimals, 
or terminating, también, they're also called terminating. Um, counting numbers or natural numbers. Integers and whole numbers, okay? All of those are part of rational numbers. Doesn't mean that rational numbers belong to these other ones, but all of these other ones belong here, okay? Okay, so now we can come up with examples. And again, remember that these probably came from my own students uh, within class. So height, for example, I, my height is five, five feet and five inches, so like five point something. Um, length, whoops, sorry about the spelling. Length, um, price, pi, pi. Pi, you can cut it into pieces, into fractions. Pizza. Okay. So anything that it's not um, a whole number, that's, that's, I shouldn't say that's a rational number because then we also have irrational numbers which come next. But these are just some examples. Okay. So make sure you write them down. And I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, the next number set is irrational numbers. And this is the reason for which we cannot give the i to e integers because this is the, the one that has the symbol i, irrational numbers. And so irrational numbers, if they're not rational, then they are irrational. And these, the description of these, uh, these number sets is a non terminating decimal and if you uh, use your calculator you will see that some of the numbers that are irrational are pi you know what I forgot to sorry I forgot to um, I told you I was going to graph some of these, so I'm just going to do that really fast. I apologize about that. So we have positive 2, it's right here. We have negative 2, it's right here. We have 0 0.5, it's right here, so we can just say 0.5 right there, which is also... Um, one half, right? Uh, point three, 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 forever. It's like one third. So about right here. Zero point three, 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 forever. And we this line means that it repeats on and on and on. Uh, what other one? Okay. So those are some examples of the rational number in the number line. It just means that it's in between other whole numbers like between zero and one okay sorry about that um irrational numbers we have pi and again it's a non-terminating decimal it doesn't repeat like if for example one third is the same as 0 0.33333 so that repeats in here uh, and i'm not going to write all of them but there are billions and billions and billions of digits after the decimal point um, and they haven't found any repetition yet. So the, the number is 3. Point, a lot of people know it as 
Others know it as 3.1416, but in reality, the first couple of digits after the decimal is 1415926, and then it continues. Again, I, uh, as I said, they have continued and continued to find the end of it and, and where it repeats, but they haven't found it yet. Okay, so pi. Um, any square root that is not perfect are also irrational numbers, and I'm going to give you two of them. And so it's one for the square root of two is 1.4142135, etc., etc., etc. The square root of three is equals to 1.7. Three two zero five zero a zero, etc., etc., etc. So these are just some examples. But again, any number, any square root that is not perfect. For example, we have the square root of sixteen is four, so that will be a natural number, right? But if it's not a perfect square, then it would be an irrational number. Okay, this shouldn't be in here because this is not an irrational number. That would be a natural or counting number. Where do we use some of this? Well, pi, we use to find the area of the circle. Area is equals to pi r square. Um, the, the square roots, we are gonna use it to find one of the missing sides of a triangle because we have the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and you already practiced that in the modules, but uh, you might be, oh yeah, remembering, yes, that's true. We can find by using the square root, okay? Um, so electricians, architects, uh, people who work with, um, landscapes okay electricians architects uh, landscapes that's what they would use these kind of measurements um, to find measurements and make sure that they have the right um, The right quantities maybe of cement or or how much material they need okay last but not least is the real numbers and this is easy the symbol is r that's why we cannot use r for rush for rational numbers instead we use q and r for real numbers and it's easy because it describes all of the above sets. All of the above sets. Okay, so basically all of the ones that we just described in the video, <laughs> they are all real numbers. And you will learn about imaginary numbers, but it's going to be later on. Okay, so... Now you can work on 1.5 and have fun.